Testing, 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 testing. Yes. All right, chat. The the stream died out on me, and so basically all that happened was um. All that happened was uh, I got back to the house. Abigail was mad at me, and she's mad that I use guns. And, uh, uh, the next day, I went, she went to sleep mad, and then today's the next day, I am, uh, I was doing something on the farm, and, uh, Abe comes over and says, oh, you got a telegram. I'm like, oh. So now I'm walking over to go see. And I was born the next of kin. The next of kin to the wayward wind. Is this? Is this attractive chat? Are you? Are you enjoying this chat? Is this what you like, chat? Is this what you? Is this what you enjoy, chat? Is this just peace? Peace to yours. Is this? Serious? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Chat. I'll resume the game. Hang on, let me get set up the stream. Okay. Telegram message for me. Excuse me, Mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me. Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim. Stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. I'm sorry, chat. I gotta pee. In a lonely shack by the railroad track, I spit my younger days. In a lonely sh In a lonely sh Okay, make sure my audio was good. Chat, sorry. Got my guns on me? No, I don't got my guns on me. Ugh. Oh no shit. She's real mad now. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. 
I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hellbent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. You got me like a... Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> you got me like that. Damn shirt. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Just who Jim Milton. I'm a family man. I can handle them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Yep. Turn to work. Fuck! Let me go up here. I didn't hop on the video game to work. I came on the video game to shoot. I'm repairing a fit fence. What am I doing? Fuck. Repairing a fence. Sure hits that hammer pretty weird. Corn. Sleeping alone. I forgot where Abigail goes. A few months later. Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. That's how I was at the press. I was like, can you talk to Mr. Eric? I'm like, sure, go ahead. And he's like, he'd be like really busy. I'd be like, so I heard you collected cars. <laughs> hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... 
My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Mm -hmm. Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure, it'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. Hmm. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal Tahiti. with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. Dumb once, too. You'll get her back. <laughs> oh, chat, you don't get to see it. Sorry, chat. I'll pause it for <sighs> This is just annoying me, chat. I don't know why it's wanting to be terrible lately. Uh, Getty said, "Just use his name. Use his name at the bank. Go to his distant cousin. He'll get what I need." And then John fist pumped. He went like two hands and shook him. He's like, "Yeah!" And then uh, he proceeded to now open the chest with his guns. And the OG suit or outfit. Sorry. Uh-huh. Yep. He's now John Marshall. You will not survive this challenge. Alright. So I have now unlocked free roam. Bank and so I'm gonna Mrs. Adler. What do you think, chat? Can I use a stagecoach? All right, we'll go to the damn bank. I love the song. Sounds like a little Nelson. Crew, crew, world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast. I've been living too wrong. Crew, crew, world, I'm gone. This big old world. I thought they changed the song. I never, I didn't hear this version last time. Sound like Willow Nelson. And with the moonlight as my guide, and, and this spirit outside, oh, I know, I know now, now that I'm homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go? Why is he singing so weird? I've never heard this version. I gotta pause it so I can set a waypoint because I don't know where I'm going. Been living too fast. I've been living too cruel, cruel. 
Desert road, desert plain. I have seen so much pain. Now I see into the eyes of a girl. No more, no more cruel world. Cruel, cruel, cruel world. world. Oh, I go on. He's, his pace is off from what he used to. This is cool. So, in the as Arthur, you had a bunch of missions here that you could do. You could work for the logging company, and you would come to this foreman. But since it's seven years have passed, though they've all chopped down the, all the trees, and the the foreman's deserted. Cool stuff. I've been living too fast. I've been living too wrong. It really does sound like Willie Nelson. Dusty trail, saw a vapor light. Was it a mirage? I don't know, but it seemed right. I felt mission, I felt trust. I knew then. I'm probably gonna get, get copyrighted for this. Go to her from this cruel world. Cruel. cruel. I've been living too fast. Indian Restoration. Motherhood. Now, why'd you do that? Good girl. Oh, I got a female horse now. Hello. Morning. Gotta enjoy life while you can. Good morning, sir. That's all we got. See you now, y'all. I wish I had friends like you. What was that comment? I wish I had friends like you. That sounds like just desperate, dude. Haven't been in Blackwater. Whole new town. Not the cafe, but the bank. Bank's not on the corner? That's weird. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. Okay. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> A joke, huh? Which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, 
if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Woo! Where's the gun store? Is there not a gun store? Alright, well, I'll go get my hair cut. Yeah. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Oh, it's this dude! What is the meaning of this? Hey, fella. I'm, I'm looking for my friend, and Gavin, for Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't, um, I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Come in. Good luck. Oh, I am so oh, worried. Gav. I stand Gav. Uh, Gav. Do you remember this dude? He was in like Saint Today calling for Gavin. Where are you? Morning to you. Welcome. Please take a seat. Ah, let's get her done. Those kind of goes crazy. I can't do the Arthur haircut. We gotta do something different. Oh! 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 Just kind of like a close look. Not nobody. <laughs> Alright, they get my mustache like Arthur's. But it's not crying. Extra clean. Like a fucking baby. LK likes that one. I kind of like the Spartan. It's the Brigadier. Oh, he's got sideburns. Fort Dutchman. We'll do the uh, Spartan. It's a good look. I didn't do that. I mean, nobody's seen hide nor hair of it. Gavin! Just walking around. Be 
You're a good girl now. Oh, that's really... Gavin! That dude. I'm gonna kill that dude. Honor don't mean anything now anymore. There's no ending or whatever with high or low honor. So I can be a criminal. I can be just what I wanted to be in the beginning. A crook. It's not letting me spread. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got my little map back. Oh, I got my weapons back. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, I want the... This primary, this is offhand. That's it. What the hell? Oh, the natives got to. Why am I getting low on for that? Oh my god! What's the point? The natives got to him. Did you hear someone calling out? That buffalo? Yes. The horse got there, partner. I ain't interested in sharing my fire with you. Get lost already. Hey, I ain't causing you no harm. <laughs> This is a Skinner brother. Yeah, my honor's pretty bad. Guarma rum, my favorite. Crackers, I'll take it. Never seen that the that attack by the uh, natives. That's pretty cool little segment. And he spawned. Well, her body's still there, but no. Oh. Sir. Sir. So hello, boy. Bitch ass boy. What is that? Oh. Jump, horsey. Can I help you, friend? Yes, you can. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. 
Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna own mm. it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Cleared him. And they didn't even get a shot off. I think they did. Let me see. I'm watching the replay. Oh, he shot the shotgun. That's... He did get a shot off. Dang it. And he missed with the shotgun. What a nerd. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ah, you! The man with two names and no pants. And a fresh haircut. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just <laughs> that was a good one. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I Uncle, thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle, the very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Well, maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. I got lumbago. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Uncle, why are you not dead? Follow me. Hey. Uncle, my boy. A little motor on. I should just put a bullet in you now. Where are we headed? West. West. Oh, God, ain't you a man of. It'd be nice if you didn't run off of me again. So, back to what I was talking about. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care.
Now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, my, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse! Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? Man, the stream's quality is sucky. Chat, I'm sorry. This is the stream's quality has just been sucky. Sucky. What are we going to? That's what I'm saying. Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you, John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No, I know you're an idiot. And he's taking a nap. End of epilogue. Chapter one. Features hope. Oh, I predicted the go the chapter. I'm a genius. I just got a haircut and my beard grew back. You see this shit chat? Just go. I built a fence, but still have a shitty house. Ugh. Uncle, you ever think about moving on? Oh, you think that's clever, huh? I hear Tahiti's nice. Hot down there. What? What is it? Hell's hot too. Either would be good. <laughs> You've been enough trouble. That's a good one. <laughs> I heard it's hot in Tahiti. Hell's hot too. Uh, that was a good one. That one actually made me chuckle. I'm not even gonna lie. I can't take the stagecoach there. God. Oh, forget it. This is a way 
wasting my time. And the way word win is a restless win. A dog I haven't oh squirrel I haven't studied. Something. Bird. Ran over a bird. Is it a crow? Who's that? I don't want to. I want to pick up the bird. Oh my god! This is so hard. Cigarette card? Cane gum. Never mind. Expect pleasure. Oh, I can't read. Okay, I'm not reading all that. Why is there a collar? Very confused. This looks crackers. Sort of awful. Run, run, run. Alright, well, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm scared. Say that. He's going down. me what is this a crow I just put him in my, oh I just put him in my pocket okay that's that's cool oh like it like a <laughs> petrified bird nice your belly. Okay. Can't wait to travel across the country. Yeah, run away as I go in front of him. Wonder. 
when I was born. The next, uh, where am I at? This place looks familiar. <gasps> what is the stranger? Hang on, is horseshoe overlook? Let's go there. This is gonna be spooky, okay, or chat. Oh, there's always a deer that spawn here. Gotta study all the animals. That's a cool looking duck. What? I did not mean to eat that. <sighs> I'm getting liquored up. Come on, then. Where's my cigarettes? I don't have cigarettes. Damn it. Cigarettes. <laughs> this is going to be spooky. If you listen closely, you could have heard the. I don't know. I couldn't tell. Make it out. It was very faint. It was someone singing. I don't know.
good feeling. To Valentine. To Mrs. Adler. The mistress turned gunslinger. Or widow turned gunslinger. Or I guess she's still a widow. I can't believe I can gun twirl though. That's pretty cool. You can't do it for your off hand, but you can do your on hand gun. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Five thousand dollars for your head alone. What? For me? Can I turn myself in? That was a good one. That was a good one, chat. I sounded just like it, right? Buddy. Hello, sir. Hey, partner. Oh. Got nothing better to do. Who wants paper? What gives, huh? Made it. Arthur got thrown through this window right here. That one right there. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Oh! She kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It's good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Well, it's legal, I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. God! Price for him. What do you do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. You're trying to make me We got a bit of a ride. I know. Hello, mister. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we Than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Cutscene. I did not. No! <sighs> Chat, I'm so sorry. The stream is quality is like absolutely terrible. I don't know why. I have no clue what was what you heard. But um, all that was discussed during the the buffer. I did not. Was uh, Sadie? We're going to go get a guy out of New York who robbed a bank with a pen. He was an accountant. He didn't rob with a gun. He just stole money from him. Um, Sadie said sent a telegram saying it had something to discuss, 
and it was uh, on a topic that she had heard a dude that sounded like Micah about a year ago, and uh, they said that they would try to get him. And now they're heading to go get the guy from New York. And I was glad that there's a cutscene, so I, I hate driving my horse around. I don't hate it, but I'm kind of like, it's tedious having to go from a f great distance. So luckily they spared me. Yorkers, it's a resort. New Yorkers, it's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Thanks, gang. Why is this? Chat, I'm so upset with this quality. Fella from New York, bald guy. Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's uh up in room three. I'm gonna go pay. Uh, currently chased this guy down for a bounty. You people. This is persecution. Go on now, friend. What you? I didn't kill him.
Oh, I got to do this again, chat. You get to see it this time, since it was Mr. buffering Kirk. last time. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. <laughs> Stop. Hey. That's Nathan Kirk. Oh, got him? Oh, shut up. Come on, jump on. We got to get after that him. That was cool. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. I'll go left. He just, he just knocked some logs off. What a loser. I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Call it here, chat. This quality is terrible. <laughs> I don't know why. It was Albert Mason. Oh, that guy. Who's. It's Hamish, that's Caroline. Uh, Charlotte, my bad. Alright, chat, call it here. Sucky. Like really sucky. I'll upload it, but it's not gonna be a good stream. So if you really wanna know more you can uh uh I don't know. Alright, bye chat.